start with you right here. And you don't need to worry about getting blown back, because what if you do get blown back? Just land back there. So, really knowing what the wind speed is, is kind of pointless. Well, and if you don't, you land back here, you know? So, I would worry about that. I would get your gliders out, and if you're not sure you want to go yet, just set up back there, Mark. There's right past those yucca. And, and, and kite your glider. You guys want to get comfortable with inflating it and kiting it. No problem. This is looking sweet. Stable, good. Just start walking. Okay, you're gonna do it that way. Torpedo. All your weight on the glider. Easy, easy controls, easy inputs. Got a lot of brake on. Speed it up a little bit more. Just put that head down and keep walking. Keep walking. It's clear on both ways. Start turning. Okay, as soon as you guys get off, you want to think about doing a turn along either to the left or the right, because if you get out too far, you get out of the lift band. If you come over here, you can actually look and see where the landing area is. If you were to sink out, down there is the landing area, and you can see the trail that you hike up back up this way, just zigzag back and forth. Look how he's having no problem staying up for these other guys. So this is looking like A1 condition. Looking good. But today's looking good. So as you move farther out here, you're going to get more wind. You were ground handling back there? Yeah. All right. So. It's, it's lighter back there. This is really yeah. the compression zone. It's windiest. So get yourself under control here. And I recommend you reverse kite it. Kite it back like this. If you get right to the edge, then turn and go to that torpedo. All your weight on the glider, just using your legs to slowly put forward. If you start running, you're going to go up in the air and you're going to lose your traction. You're going to go, you're going to have to try it again. So just walk it forward slowly. No brakes, Kevin. Okay, now walk it forward, Kevin. There you go. Good job. Keep walking it forward. Kiss that ground, Kevin. That's the way. That's a good example of how to kiss the ground and lean forward. That's looking good. Walk it a little bit more. And you can go either way. Good. Just slowly walk it up the edge. Almost there. Okay, straight off. There you go. Looking good. Looking good there, Kevin. Nice touch and go. You can see how the wind sock is going straight across parallel to the hill or maybe a little bit upwards, that's the kind of sign you want to see if you want to have a soaring flight here. You see it drooping down, that's telling you there's not enough lift to keep you up.
your weight on it. Just slowly walk forward. Kiss the ground. Do you have a radio? Did you hear any of that? That was telling? Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, just slowly walk it up to the edge. And there's three guys to the left. One guy to the right. Slowly walk it off there. No rush. Start to turn to the right and back around this way. Good. Keep an eye on that other guy. He's going to go to the outside. You're going to come to the inside. And be ready to turn back into the hill whenever you start hitting the sink. Good. It's ground handling the reverse bridge all the way there. We're going to get to see a guy come in for a top landing here. Alright. Well, I tell you, it puts no brake on for landing because if you put a lot of brake on, you're going to get dragged back. Okay, kind of came up. Well, in what we call a front horseshoe. I think he may have grabbed all his risers instead of just his A's. Inside A's. Looks good, Matt. Now just slowly walk it up the edge and kite it here. Styling, looking good. going for it. Keep on going. Alright Doug, no brakes on landing Doug, slide it fast to clear all those bushes, just see if you can run it straight through here. Yeah, good, stay in that torpedo position, kiss the ground, Let's see if you can ground handle it. Oh, that was a... That's what I say, see how much lift those brakes are causing? It shot you up in the air. Good job Doug, keep coming this way. Patience, patience, just walk it slowly forward, load the glider. If you start running, you're going to lift off, so just walk it slowly. Yeah, I can see that. I got it all on film. Okay, good job. Keep walking it to the edge and you can take off again. Have a better takeoff this time, Doug. Just walk it up and then go. You got somebody in. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Got somebody else. Kevin, go off to the right. Kevin, go off to the right. That way you're out of his way. Now, you guys are right behind each other, so um, 
Kevin, you need to be sure you clear your turn. He's got a guy right behind you. And Doug, you might be smart to turn before he does so that you don't have to, but uh, you don't have to collide with him there. All right. So, Larry, I'm amazed you did a top landing with all that. I was just watching your glider doing that. Think about it. Best sink rate is when the glider's flat. The more you do this, what's this called when you do break like this, break like this? Wing over. That's what you were doing, essentially. So really keep those hips moving and keep the glider flat. All right, Bob, you can do it. What? I would go to your left. There's more steepness over that way. But do it soon. Don't worry about getting in your seat. You can get in your seat later. Fly the glider first. Start that left turn. And stand here until you feel like it's a little bit stronger of a gust and that's when you want to go. Okay, go, go. Left turn. Fly the glider. Ooh, looking good. Look at that lift. All right.
Nice job. Keep that glider flat. You come back this way, maybe you'll hit it again. It should come around here. Looking good. Kick your feet if you're hearing me, Bob. Kick your feet if you're hearing me. Probably not. Okay. Doesn't matter. Look out, he's up there. He should be coming this way. He doesn't have a radio or not on my frequency. But see, he should be coming closer to the hill now. If he goes out there, he's getting out of the lift band. And when he does that turn, now he's really getting out of the lift band. He should have come closer to the hill before he did that. Look how he sunk there. But he may still make it back. Closer to the hill, Bob! Closer to the hill! He's too far out. He's going to sink out like that. Now see how he's getting popped a little bit? Go a few seconds and then turn. See how he used that extra lift to stay up higher? By doing his turn at that point. So are we getting hills kind of going in like this and out? Is that where it's likely to be wanting to push us up because it's getting funneled in there? And therefore, we're going to get the This is better, Bob. Now you're closer here. Getting too far out though. Okay, do a turn, Larry. There you go. Okay, Larry, you're getting popped a little bit. Go a little bit farther and start turning back in. That way you can utilize that lift better. Back into the wind now. No brake, yeah. You don't want to get dragged. Kite it up to the edge and take off again. Good job, Larry's got. We got top landing number three, guys. What is the question? Too much break. Stay on those A's. Okay, walk it forward. Walk it forward, Doug. Put all your body weight on it. Really lean forward. And just slowly walk it up. And it's clear to your right. Clear to your right. So I go off. Get ready to run again. You're not airborne. Torpedo off. Shit. Oh, that was a close one. All right, straight on ahead there. Well, let's talk about that. You say, I'm flying pretty deep in the brakes. Okay, which is where you want. The best way to know it is just relax your arms. Where your arms are naturally suspended, it's about where you want to be. That's about quarter break. Quarter. Right, and so you might be getting a slightly better glide, but a slightly higher sink rate. And you don't really care about glide in most cases because yeah, that's where the, what I call the zero point or quarter breaks, min sink. That's where you should be most of the time, with some exceptions. So what I How poetic it looks! Everybody's cutting their glider. I 
it's getting strong, guys. Look how it's lifting you. You can do it, Larry. You don't need to wait around anymore. It's going to get more and more gusty as the day heats up. Oh. Turn immediately once you take off. Okay, start turning. Start turning, Dave. Fly at your zero point, quarter brakes, nice smooth turns with weight shift. Okay, come as close to the hill as you feel comfortable. You're really swinging when you do that in the harness. If you start getting sink, just turn away from the hill. Looking good. And you always do your turns in lifting air. So come back across this way when you hit another bounce of air and you turn back. Until somebody sorts beside me, nobody's going to go. Do it better than I did. Well, I know. He's on a glider that's like 15 years old. See, he was catching something right there, and he should have stayed a little bit longer in it. You can do it, Dave. You can get back up there. Good idea, Dave. Just turn back to your right and go from the landing area. You don't have such a long way to walk. get a little bit of bump here. Mark! In the reverse position, just keep facing backwards and fly it like that. Get it stable. Good. All right. Now slowly start walking it back here. When you're under full control, then you can let go of your risers and turn and go to that forward position. When it's fully under control.
Looking good. Okay, turn. Let's go off to the left. So just torpedo. Okay, now go to the left before you get out of the lift back. Keep going to the left. John, you gotta go to the left. Okay, you're in lift. So go back to the left, John. You got a pilot over there next to you. Look, keep an eye on him. Looking good. And you want to get as close to the lift band as you can, John. If you go out there too far, you're going to get out, going to sink out. I already did one. I already soared back and forth and top landed. What more do I need to show you? Well, it's not like you're busy here doing anything else. Well, I'm coaching these people, yes. I am. Doing my work, you know? <laughs> Looking good, Larry. Do a turn as soon as you get to the edge. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, now start a little bit of turn, Larry. Right. You get in your harness later. Fly at that zero point, quarter brake. Get a little bit of brake on. And do your turn back when you get a little bit of extra lift. He's going to land there, top land. Hey, I thought he was. <laughs> Gentle on those turns, Larry. I see your gutter swinging around too much. Swinging around too much. Keep it flatter. Keep it flatter. Swinging too much. Here he comes. Swinging too much. <laughs> right. hey! Second top landing. Second top landing, people. Okay? And Larry's nice got an old glider. Old used glider. So if he can do it, you can all do it. Turn itself on. Doesn't it feel colder now? All right, Larry, you got two or three top landings? Oh, uh, well, yeah. But you were really swinging there. Yeah, it was a lot This is the first time I've been able to soar. Heads up, guys! This thing's fun! It's an extra, extra small element. Like maximum weight is like 70 kilos. <laughs>